Hi there, everybody. So this is an introduction to using IXL. IXL is a learning program you're going to be using for language arts and for math. So you are going to go to the link in Google Classroom to get to IXL. It's IXL.com. There, You will have a link there. And then you will log in. I'm not quite sure if you're going to log in with Google or not. But if not, you'll put in your username and password right up here where, where the sign in is. And um, it's your normal Plainville Schools login. Um, so it's pretty basic. It's your last name, first initial, your you know numbers, and then your last name, first initial. You do not need the at plainvilleschools.org. And then your regular password. So it's really easy for you to remember. And then you hit your login. Um, you want to go to, hopefully you will be at the homepage which will look like this, okay? So when you're at this page here, you want to scroll down a bit. You see all these grade levels can use this. You wanna find the orange one that says sixth grade, all right? So you have math here, language arts here. This is the one you want, language arts. It's like 166 skills. That's a lot, but not as much as math. So we're pretty lucky here in language arts. So you wanna click on that where it says the skills. And it brings you to all of our sixth grade language arts, language arts skills, okay? So pretty much where we're going to um, start, whenever you're assigned something, there's all these little stars next to them. Your assignment will be lit up, the star will be lit up yellow. But where we're going to start, we're going to start, you see these, it's in categories. We have reading strategies, writing strategies, vocabulary. We're going to start under grammar and mechanics. So you'll end up scrolling down to the section grammar and mechanics. And we're going to start off pretty basic with some review for you guys in this capitalization section here, KK capitalization. So when you go into IXL and log on, you're going to scroll down again to grammar and mechanics all the way down to this KK capitalization. So this star next to correct capitalization errors will be lit up yellow like that. So you'll know that that'll be assigned to you and that'll be the one that you are going to do. Okay, so you're going to click on that. If you hover over it, it'll tell you, um, it'll give you an example and it'll show you about what you are going to do. So you'll click on that to get into it, into the assignment. Hang on, I'm going to go backwards a little bit just to start it again. Oops, start it again. It's KK like that, okay? You click on it to get into the assignment, and it gives you, um, it'll, it'll bring you right into the assignment. Okay, so if you look at what's here before we even start, let's just take a look for a second and see what we have here. We have, if we look over on this side, it has questions answered. This tells you how many questions you've answered so far. This tells you time elapsed. It tells you how long you've been in IXL. Look, it's time running. We've been in for 30 seconds so far, okay? This one down here says smart score out of 100. This is the score that you get, okay? So it says, IX, oops, sorry, IXL smart score is a dynamic measure of progress toward mastery. Rather than a percentage grade, it tracks your skill level as you tackle progressively more difficult questions. Consistent, consistently answer questions correct to reach excellence, 90 or conquer the challenge zone to achieve mastery, 100. So what this does is that um, it the SMART score tells you, it, it like it like gives you, you know, as you get questions right, it goes up. And the questions sort of progress in difficulty a little bit. They don't get super hard, super hard, so don't get worried. As you get if you get questions wrong, it goes down a little bit. Okay? So it kind of you'll see it going up and down and I'll show you that as we as we go through it as well. Um, we want you to reach a smart score of 80 on the assignment. And once you reach the smart store score of 80, you can be done. So that's pretty easy. Okay? It's not that hard to do, I promise. 
Um, the next thing I want you to see up here in the top where it says KK.1 or 0.1, this is sort of like your learning target. It tells you what you're doing, right? It tells you what you're doing for that day. So correct capitalization errors. This is how you know you're in the right assignment too, okay? Um, then this is your this is your first example. So here's your directions. Click to correct the two capitalization errors. I also want to point this out here, this learn with an example. If you click down with this, this is a really important part of this because this is sort of like gives you like self-teaching. It gives you an example. It gives you some teaching. It tells you the question. Click to correct the two capitalization errors. China is the largest country located entirely in Asia, the world's largest continent. If I'm not sure, I, I have this teaching, key ideas. Capitalize the names of people and pets. So it tells me, oh yeah, things I need to capitalize. Capitalize a title of respect if it is used with a name or as a name. Do not capitalize a title of respect if it is used as a common noun. And then it gives me examples. President Nixon, but not a president. Dr. Chen, but not the doctor. Capitalize the title of a family member if it is used with a name or as a name. Do not capitalize the title of a family member if it is used as a common noun. So mommy, but not my mother. Uncle Dave, at, or but not an uncle. Capitalize initials, you can see. Capitalize the names of months, days of weeks, and holidays, including the word like day and eve. So you can see the examples there. So you could see how it, it's teaching you. It's reminding you of the capitalization rules, right? And then it also tells me the solution, okay? So if I'm not sure of what to do, I can go on this learn with an example, remind myself, okay? Maybe not look at the solution and try it. So Edward R. Monroe was a famous American journalist who became a household name during World War II when his series of radio news broadcasts were followed by millions of listeners. So I have to correct two errors. So Edward R. Monroe is a name, so that has to be capitalized. Famous American has to be capitalized. Who became a household name during uh, World War II is the whole name of the war, so I have to capitalize that. When his series of radio news broadcasts were followed by millions of listeners, I think those are the two errors. Yay, great job. So hit submit, great job. One question answered over here. My smart score went up to 10. Let's do another one. Click to correct the one capitalization error. Civil rights pioneer W.E.B. Du Bois was born in Massachusetts but became a citizen of Ghana in 1961. So civil rights pioneer. Hmm. Does pioneer have to be capitalized there? This is his name, so that has to be. Massachusetts has to be. Ghana is a place. Civil is the name of the, is a, the first word of the sentence. I think pioneer is wrong. Yay! All right, my smart score went up a little more. Look at that. I'm on my way to 80. Let's get one wrong and see what happens. Click to correct the two capitalization errors. China is the largest country located entirely in Asia, the world's largest continent. Well, world doesn't have to be capitalized, but let's say continent does. I know that that's wrong. Let's see what happens. Oh, sorry, incorrect. So it tells me the correct answer. Okay. It was country and world, mm -hmm. but then it also explains it to me. So here's the review, right? It tells me what I answered. It says, remember, and it tells me those capitalization strategies. And then it's solve, right? China is the name of a country. Asia is the name of a continent. No other words in the text should be capitalized. I hit got it after I read it all. I try again. So did you notice my smart score went down a little, right? Okay, so let's try again. I'm going to get another one wrong and see what happens. Due to the success of her popular children's books, J.K. Rowling is now one of the most well-known and best-selling British authors of all time. Let's do authors. Submit. Oh, no, wrong again. So here I have my explanation, right, what I did. It reminds me of my capitalization rules. Solve. Got it. Okay, let's see what happens. My smart score went down a little more. I'm going to get one more wrong because there's something else I want to show you. Oh, oh wait. Um, so I'm feeling, well, I'm not going to get one more wrong because it's already down here. But I'm so I'm feeling like maybe, you know, I'm struggling a little bit. So this part popped up, okay? This work it out, not feeling ready yet. 
if I'm not feeling ready to do some of these because they're too challenging for me, I can come down here and break it down a little. Capitalizing, then it gives me other places to go, right? So I could click on some of these other IXL, um, other IXL, um, um, I don't know, what are they called? I don't know what they're called. Um, things to do within IXL to practice capitalization because maybe I'm not ready yet to do the ones that I'm assigned. So if, if it feels like it's too challenging, then, then try the work it out. Otherwise, you know, keep going, keep going and see how you do. Maybe it was just a glitch and you clicked on the wrong thing or didn't read the directions. By urban population, Mexico City is the whole name of the city. The capital doesn't have to be. Submit. All right, look at that. I popped back up again to my smart score. That's pretty much it for IXL, okay? Remember you have that um you can you know you can you can go backwards a little to help you. You can do the drop down to reteach yourself as you're going through. You want to get a smart score of 80 to finish or you can of course go all the way to 100 if you so desire. Or your time elapsed of 30 minutes. Okay, either or. If you work for 30 minutes and don't quite get an 80, that's okay. Um, or the SMART score of 80. And that's it for IXL. If you have any problems, as always, email your teacher and let us know. Okay, good luck with IXL.